so hello everyone um, I'm giving you an, a new online commentary together with uh, one of my favorites Titan Sparky hello Spark how are you I'm good mate hi everyone um, so okay Spark if you're ready let's start and then let's just quickly introduce the teams okay I'm ready man okay um, so this is the 3 versus 3 that we played on GR like a month ago um, and I'm gonna introduce our teams first this is me who started the game with the blobbed up infantry and the cavalry and I've got KPI with standard build um, which means 6 Praetorian cavalry 14 urban cohorts I've got next to me Bubo from Titans clan who is playing with Mastodon and he's got uh, 6 light lancers and 6 no 4 light lancers and 16 uh, royal pikemen and then interesting faction um, cell, like the faction that is Sparky playing with Egypt an unusual name on 31 came battlefields um, and he got 6 chariots and 14 Bowman. Infantry, right? Yeah, <laughs> 14 infantry. <laughs> um, so he's going to pretty much rely on the skirmish. So do you want to introduce the opposite team? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to pause it because for me shit's already kicking off. But yeah, so for the uh, other team we have Cleo, Cleo Minus. Is playing as the SPQR, and uh, he has fourteen six, I believe. Yep. Um, and then next to him we have Diomedes from the Greek clan, who is playing as the Julii, who also has fourteen six. And then uh, in the back we have the Greeks, played by Greek and Leo, and that he has what is it eight archers? Yeah, eight Christians. Yeah, eight. Eight Christians and twelve Spartans. Yeah. So a, a, a good army. Yeah. Um, Dio got one legendary first cohort, so he has thirteen urban cohorts and one mm -hmm. legendary yeah. first cohort. So I think that is um, that is that makes things a lot difficult for us to play, considering we've got two <coughs> vulnerable factions. One is Macedon is already vulnerable against. Um, Romans, um, but also yeah. you are heavily relying on your chariots and also your archer units. Also, we see here Cleo just now rushed in Bubo. He caught Bubo in a pretty bad position, so Bubo was not ready for that, and he got one of his infantry routed and like four of his infantry just totally fucked. I would say, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of peeler. Yeah. Um, so, w w what do you think? Like, uh, what are, what is our chances to win the game? And in order to do that, how do you think we have to play? Um, well, yeah, I think you two do need to stay together, infantry-wise. Otherwise, what Leo is doing right now, just running through... Uh, and peeling bubble will kill him uh, probably qu pretty quickly especially since uh, Leo has the archers in the back and every time bubble runs back uh, he's just gonna get shot uh, but what we need to do is and what I'm kind of failing at is getting archers behind I'm kind of doing it on Cleo but it's not doing enough compared to what's happening to bubble or oh, Bubo, keep saying that. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, what Bob, Bubo's doing right now is kind of scaring away the archers for uh, the Greeks, which is Cav, which is nice. And I need my chariots in just to threaten their Cav and keep their Cav close to their infantry. You're doing a good move with some urbans on the left. But I mean, you, and, uh, you and I just now caught. Like three of Cleo's cavalry, I don't think he was ready for that. 
Do you, did you see it? Yeah, he. I think. Uh, I don't really know what that was, but yeah, you did a good charge, and you killed some good some good cav of his. And this is where I don't know, man. I feel like we could have played it a bit better. Uh, I lose a lot of chariots in this fight. You did, but I mean, at the end, you also caused them a lot of damage. So the thing is, I had only three of my cavalry engaging, and as a result, we you see, we had to fight against twelve cavalry units of theirs, and they got yeah. so much <clears throat> damage that they didn't have to get. I think that puts them in a heavy disadvantage now. I mean, not a disadvantage, I would say, but I mean, that makes things a little bit easier for us. So, um, since they won't be able to have so many cavalry units now, we, it just gives us more flexibility to use your archer units. So, that was a good move that we had, I would say, and to get this, mm -hmm. uh, how do you say, to neutralize their cavalry um uh opportunities or whatever you call it. but on the other hand i am getting really badly pushed in the middle my infantry i keep losing my infantry because i don't have much of a chance against spartans and urbans but yeah yeah this this is this is a a, a delay you're trying to play here man there's there's no there's no way to win this it's yeah. Not even the best of Bronto War players could win that. It's just impossible. Oh uh, yeah, um, that's, that's. I think th this is this is why Bubo, you and uh, Bubo needed to be like almost in like a, I'd say like a uh, an arrowhead, you know, like that kind of shape. Yeah. Because it means he could send pikes to you if you're getting a you know a lot of Spartan attention, and uh, meanwhile they would have to flank you, which would mean my 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 archers in the back could definitely get some good shots. Yeah. But whatever, we, this is how it went. So, right now it's not looking too good, right? You it's know, not. It's not looking too you did, good. You saved some infantry, which is a good move. Yeah, and also, uh, uh, Bubo, like we we both started to disengage. Um, so, the the thing I didn't like about Bubo doing right now, I think what he could do, considering we are just going to heavily invest on skirmish i think he doesn't have to move his infantry as one force very close to each other so he could just spread around make them just also spread around if they wanted to chase all those pikemen and make them a lot more vulnerable because mm -hmm. we've got heavy cavalry superiority right now I would say you have uh like uh, four five chariot units i i mean i see one two three let's see three chariot units i also have um mm. i lose i lose my general here cleo just fucking charges it and yeah. I, I was not paying I, attention i just saw it um so the bubo is falling back to i fo fell back with my infantry too now i'm getting close to him I also meanwhile try to kill those isolated Spartans. I think I routed mm -hmm. one. That's a, yeah, you got a good charge. Now, and Bubo, you're, you're keeping them separated, which is nice. Yeah. Now. And yeah, now Bubo is getting fully fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have much to do. That thing. The. Uh, I really would question that move. To I mean, he didn't have much option rather to uh, accept the fight. But I mean, I feel like if he accepted with couple and just tried to serve more uh, and to run back with more, because I mean, he has he's outnumbered, and also those infantry that he's fighting against are too much superior. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's two Romans and a Greece attacking, you know, winded, the fucking royals. They're not gonna, li they're not gonna live, man. Yeah. But I understand why Bubo held his ground because, I, you know, Bubo usually uses his infantry in like a set formation. He's not he's not known for, you know, doing crazy shit and running all of his infantry in different directions. He's he's more of a solid solidarity kind of player, which is fine. Uh, 
it's just shitty in this circumstance because it was his infantry versus three infantry armies. Yeah. So. It didn't and I make a mistake it. here, and I I try to save him. I don't know what I was thinking because it's it's already over, and I actually lose two chariots here. They route. Yeah, that which was is really really bad. Yeah, that was waste. I think. I mean, you could just not charge. I remember you told me. I remember you telling me in game, "What the fuck are you doing?" But <laughs> I was like, "No, I mean, yeah, I didn't." I don't know I, what I'm doing, man. Yeah, I yeah. think I remember to just telling you also just try to save some chariots. But I understand the idea behind. I think you have seen some of the royals were still there holding the ground, but I feel like you've got you were like seconds late. Also, there was a he heavy moral drop there, and then mm -hmm. not yeah. much things to do. So at this point, Bubo fucking rage quit the game. You fucking bastard, Bubo. So <laughs> you well, see, his his, uh, his cavalry I mean, is just charging. He didn't, he didn't have anything left, and <laughs> okay, <you> that's know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so we've lost the player. We're a man down yeah. at this point. Uh, so um, now, what are you it's doing? It's not looking good, man. Look at this. Oh, well, what I should have been doing a while ago, just surrounding. And I guess now that the the Greeks have not got a real target to chase anymore, like uh, Bubo's infantry, they're gonna they're gonna box because that's the clever thing to do in this situation. They're go they're not gonna chase, say your five urbans because they know that you'll just split them up and they'll get shot in the back. Yeah. So they're gonna just try and make a nice box, cover their angles, and you know, weather the storm basically. Because I've got a lot of arrows, man. You've got a I'm lot of a much. lot of arrows, and you've got a lot of <laughs> archers too. So, like, how many are, are archers you've got? Two, four, seven. I think about ten, twelve. Ten. Roughly. Yes, twelve. You've got twelve uh, archer units. Then you've got I see one. Two chariot units, if I'm not mistaken. Then I've got a, I've got a chariot really far out as well, uh, killing a calf that oh, was yeah. killing my archer. Yeah. So I've got about three chariots. Yeah. Still. So, uh, and, and they won't do shit versus this box, but what they are gonna be useful for is literally just the morale penalties. That's what we want. Yes. Because I can put them around their box when they have to go tighter. And uh, yeah, they'll they'll be a real help. Yeah. So yeah. W but yeah, this is just gonna be us shooting now for quite a while. Exactly. So I think seeing also the replay file is quite long. I think we're taking our time here first for you to rest your archer units to make them more to make those arrows more deadly, and then you're not going to just blindfoldedly use those arrows, but to get best out of them, to hit the back of those infantry, uh, with he's going to. I mean, the, the, what Spark is going to do is just um, to micro each archer unit. So he's just not going to. He's going to target specific um, uh, infantry with those archers. So basically, I yeah? yeah. I'm just gonna go after the Spartans, right? Cause yes. We gotta get rid of them exactly so i think uh, it would be a smart move if we pause the recording at this point and then to continue it at the point that we the things get more intensive again right mm -hmm. so we will be back to you guys very soon so guys uh we decided to and pause it a little bit to give you an idea what is going on right now. So I think this is mainly the Sparky are doing the thing. So I would let him to explain what is he doing. Spark? Yeah, so... I mean, at this point... The Greeks have boxed and my... Archers are completely surrounding them. Uh, the, the, what, what, what me, me and Pag were initially thinking, was, and it's what we eventually do, is we want to make them get as condensed as possible so that Pag's full cav can get uh, a, a good slice charge at the end on, uh, on these urbans. 
So my job with the archers is to simply shoot every single Spartan I can find. And you can see... Uh, uh, at this corner, and, you know, they're not getting covered or anything, so I'm getting a lot of good kills. Yeah. And uh, it's a tedious, it's a tedious uh, strategy of what I'm doing, but it's the way to win it, really, is I will shoot from one angle only, and I'll save the rest of my ammo until they turn, you know, like to say the Greek general turns to face the other way, I would just stop firing yeah. and uh, shoot with the other side. And, you know, inevitably these guys are going to lose their men. So that's why this battle is so long, because I'm just doing this to get rid of any pikes that could kill uh, Pag's cav. And then when they're gone, we can start moving in. And then Pag does the rest, really. But yeah, that was the plan, uh, right? I mean, uh, I didn't really yeah. think of anything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the plan, but I mean, your uh, uh, archers, I mean, they will also be doing quite a lot of things in the melee fight. And also your chariots will be... Uh, I mean, they will do the damage when they charge too, but mainly those three chariots can drop the moral a lot there. But also one thing to, to note, my infantry has got full yeah. pillar. Almost all my infantry has got full pillar, so at some point I will get my infantry close and start to throw some pillar before we go to full engagement. So this is the how the things going on for now. Uh, so as you can see, I've been moving around and you see uh, he's waiting with his uh, archer units. He's not shooting with all of them. As we told earlier, he's just been quite picky with where to shoot and also getting his archer units also always fresh before he shoots and yeah i mean that's it for now and uh it, he's got some more ammo to throw in so i think i will pause the recording for a little bit now and we will return back to very soon okay guys we are back and uh, at this stage Sparky used all of his archer ammo, but I think he got only one, like this little uh, archer unit at the back. He got some ammo and he's going to flame those infantry, I think, with them just to drop the moral even more, So, which is a clever mo move. So we are getting our archer, I mean he's getting his archer units close, chariots close and also I'm getting my infantry close. And as I told I had some pillar and right now I'm using my pillar the same way Sparky used his arrow. I am not auto pillaring but rather I'm just using, I'm mechanically um, pillaring those units. But I mean I, I, I literally just show, so... Um, me throwing pillow on the testudo. <laughs> so, Spark, um, how do you think at this stage things look for us? Uh, we can't hear you. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So, how do you think the... Th yeah, did you say? I was asking how do you think the things look for us at this stage? I think we didn't even really need your infantry at this point. We just needed your have and my arches, but it's looking pretty good, I would yeah. say. Because yeah. the, the Greeks can't really do shit right now because they're so condensed, uh, they're just going to get surrounded. Yeah, and uh, you can see those dead uh, Spartans, which were killed by the arrows that you threw in. And um, I think your plan again was... And your, and your plan is to simply charge through Yeah. with these calves. Yeah. The... yeah. And yeah, you can see all those units right now, uh, have their morals pretty low 
they are unhappy for taken casualties and most of them are frightened by the chariots so i mean all of them apparently so uh we are outnumbering them and we got um we, they don't have much spartans left and i think that is the charge might work i mean it's probably it's going to work um so the, their main th threat would be those spartans and yeah we see now sparky is using yeah, those you got some good peelish that's on the middle okay yeah so the flame yeah i believe some of these guys are already uh, shaken yeah so we oh yeah we forgot to mention that uh, the greek general actually got shot when we were doing the skirmish phase Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all of the Greek morale is going to be... Uh, oh, man. Just the, one of the uh, infantry. You can see some Spartans routing. Yeah. That's a good timing to engage It right is now. a low number. Yeah. And then... But, yeah, this is this is where we go in. So you're going first with the infantry, which is good. And then I'll follow up with the uh, archers. And, I mean... Already the morale for them is, is just crumbling. Yeah. So and here you send in the cav, which is yeah, that's game over. That's yeah, the mass route. Um yeah, I mean that was quite a good teamwork I think, specifically on our side, like me and you. But um Bubo did good job by holding those infantry, making the casualties and specifically here the what gained us the um, win first i would say your chariots that caught those uh, cavalry units right at this spot you see the chariots of sparky and the dead uh julia cavalry and then i followed those that engagement with a couple of another praetorians that i sent it so we pretty much made them lose almost big part of their cavalry forces which gave us a lot of flexibility and then your archers you did a great job with those archers so that's the two main reasons for me that we won the game um so what do you think hello I, I can't hear you. Thank you, thank you. Well, there's, uh, there's his results. Honestly, for what happened to Bobo Man, I think he, he got good kills. And the other team got nice kills as well. Clear with the uh, second highest in the game. Well, I mean, you, um, you you got you got amazing yeah. kills. <laughs> I would say you got amazing. I didn't even remember that you had so many kills. So, but this this uh, two, above two k and three versus three in this kind of competitive game, and not a competitive, but I would say the, with in a game with competitive players who playing in this faction disadvantage for you, it's a good amount of kills. Um, but for yeah. me, yeah. What were you saying? Sorry, no, go ahead. I mean, no, I no. think, like, this is not because, let's be fair, it's not because we played extremely good and we outplayed them, but because I think they've been making quite a few mistakes. And the first mistake they made, to lose their cavalry in that way. I think they they, mm. they they didn't have much control of their cavalry. I don't think they were expecting that engagement to come right there with your chariots where they had a lot of infantry units. Um, and then I... So after they, they don't have the cavalry units, I don't. I think they still did the, the best they could do. I mean, they caught Macedon and they killed Macedon. Yeah, as you told, they didn't have much option rather to... Uh, to box and yeah yeah but yeah it was a good it was a good game nonetheless yeah that was a good game um i again that was a fun game for me to play and a nice teamwork there and yes man and i hope you all guys enjoyed it once again thank you spark for assisting me on the commentary always good to have you here mm -hmm. 
thanks for having me yeah it was my pleasure and i'm looking for more commentaries with sparky in the future which 100 we're going to do and and a possible surprise guest so oh yeah yeah, yeah sparky is making some arrangement for the channel so uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> also yeah he's he, we we signed a new contract with him so we signed another new we renewed our contract with cleo by the way to like it a week ago something so a new commentary is coming on his channel uh i'm not sure if it's he's going to post it before i post it but yeah also new con contracts with which are arranged by sparky so the guy is working pretty hard so that's why he don't have much time to play the game and yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, i hope Thank to you. see you guys very soon bye bye peace